Hello everyone and welcome to a new series on my channel Port Royal via the Buccaneers uh, DLC we're going to play this game is I think about two years old now the DLC uh, mixed reactions but I think it's a very good uh, DLC so we're going to play this we're going to play a free game and we are going to play as the Netherlands and as the merchant but the Netherlands because it's the smallest country and with the Buccaneers DLC, you get, and I'll show you that in a moment. Oh, let's uh, keep it at Netherlands. Continue. The merchant, but we're going to set the Buccaneer mode on. Because then this will change. Normally the merchant has, uh, doesn't require trade, li uh, trade license. Able to trade with all nations even at war. And combat festival cost twice as much. But if we do this, we get an all other uh, set of... Uh, Things what we have to deal with. We start with a pirate bark. Uh, crew redu uh, cost reduction is 25%. And we gain uh, fame, fame through buccaneering. Uh, this will end at the moment we declare our independence, if I'm correct. And then we switch back to what we were, the merchant. So it's from what I understand. I haven't played it that far into the game, but that's... Uh, the flag. I think we're going for a pirate flag since we're a buccaneer. Why not? I'll show you what uh, the difference is. What uh, it gets. Buccaneer uh, mode is a special game mode for Portugal Via that you can activate before starting a new game during the chapter's uh, character selection. Just uh, what we did. Buccaneers mode allow you to focus more on plundering, capturing and annexing convoys and towns as your advanced traits and production are still possible so that still we can do but a little bit more difficult we see that in the in the details here down uh, you start the game with an experienced captain that's a, a big plus of course a pirate bark and special game objectives captain and targets are the same for each game so it doesn't matter how you uh, do it you get a captain and that kind of stuff you're not allowed to attack convoys of towns of your nation that's an important thing the bigger your nation the less convoys you have to attack so the smaller you are the more cities and convoys you can attack so that's why uh, we're going to change that later on you always have a letter of mark against all other nations no matter if there's a war or not and that's important because in the normal game you have to buy a letter of mark and it's only valid during war when the war is over and there starts another war you need a new leather of mark and you don't need that here so it saves you in the end a lot of money you can therefore attack convoys and towns of other nations at any time and obtain fame for your nation you gain fame by completing tasks from towns and your viceroys but you do not gain fame by delivering colonial commodities in the normal game if you uh, get coca and coffee and you other things that gives you uh, fame but it doesn't, not now at least, so that's not the focus for us. Uh, when you obtain fame from your nation, there's a 30% chance of a kept tactic. That's always uh, nice to, to get. You can annex and administer towns by yourself, but you cannot have towns transferred to you by the Viceroy. And that's also uh, a thing. In the other game, uh, the normal game mode, you can get a town to administer from the viceroy but now we can't so the smaller your city uh, your starting country is the less cities there are that you can't administer because if you uh, annex it you can administer it by yourself and if you for example like spain that has 30 or 40 uh, towns yeah you can't do anything with them so yeah that's uh, that's another thing the shipyard in your town always uh, allow you to build pirate barks pirate gallons but you cannot build other vessels in your shipyard i don't think that's completely correct as far as i can recall you should be able to build ships that you visit with when you uh, go to your town or you need the uh, the update that's allows it there is at least a, a way to a possibility to also build other ships as far as i remember the declaration of independence the treasure hunt and the expedition work just like in the regular game mode the buccaneer mode all characters have the same advantages after the declaration of independence each character has its own advantage just like in the regular game and that's why we uh, picked up the trader because yeah trading is pretty powerful i think you cannot set convoys to pirate mode because you already enabled it. So that's basically the 
what's happening when we go into Buccaneer mode, like here. So we continue. We can uh, customize the game a little bit because I always like to do that. Starting with 30,000 golds, you can uh, bring that higher up, but I think 30,000 is uh, more than enough. One vessel, economic uh, heart, naval battles heart, pirates regular, uh, resources uh, regional distribution. That means that uh, not all goods are available at the starting place. You can also choose for regional random then you basically have all the goods in your area but let's keep it uh, like this uh, we start with automation so at if we starting uh, with trading routes uh, we want to do it um, an automation trade route and not uh, without automation uh, filling level indicator well let's put it on the filling level allows you to choose if any indicator of the stock level of commodity should be displayed in the trade window uh, warehouse is mandatory. We can't uh, do anything without a warehouse. And trading convoys are, well, that's a bit of a problem, I wouldn't say. But unarmed trading convoys are easier to plunder, but you never get warships. Uh, so later on, if I put them at armed, it's a little bit more difficult in the beginning. But later on, you get tons and tons of warships that you can sell. It brings in a lot of money. I guess we could put it at armed because it's also set on the difficult mode as armed. The only uh, difference is that we have uh, the same amount of gold, same amount of vessels. Economic, we are at uh, the decent challenge. Naval battles, decent challenge. Pirates also. This is the same. Uh, and here we have without uh, automation and the trade does you could choose whether or not automatic functions should be enabled to you when editing actions or towns. If you deactivate the automatic functions, your values must be set manually. I think, yeah, it will be a little bit easier to, uh, to get it over and then adjust it. That's a little bit easier. Otherwise, yeah, I know the basically the, the things we need, but a filling in the level is on. Warehouse mandatory, that's the same. And yeah, here they also arm, so let's put it at arm. We're basically around here, only the this one is a little bit different. And I think that's the only difference we have. Yep. Yeah, okay, let's uh, keep it at this. Then we have here the, the settings, and you see the Netherlands here, which we choose to start with. Very small, only uh, two, four, six units france has two four six eight nine but this is a pretty central spot here because we are close to england close to spain and close to france so a lot of traders coming by in this area easier to uh, to get them than let's say if we want to do something like this or even bigger or even large look at a few then yeah so i prefer a very small starting point Distribution, yeah, that's basically where your city is or your uh, country is. So let's keep it like there. Our hometown, we stay in Andros. I think that's a good starting point. Uh, task or military, can change that. Uh, discover towns uh, or off. We can all see all the towns that there are. I think there are about 60, if I'm not mistaken. But I don't like to go all around and check out all the, the cities. Not necessary. Economical shock we turn off and the wars, yeah, doesn't matter too much for us. We are, uh, we have a, a permanent letter of mark, so frequently and rather short is fine. We are not uh, confined by that. In a normal game, you could choose for a uh, rarer but longer, so you don't have to buy as often uh, letter of marks if you want to participate in a war uh, going on, but we can do it like this. So let's start a game and see what we're uh, we're getting and what's going on. There we go. Uh, we are on pause, if I'm not mistaken. Are we? We should be. I don't see. Yeah, January 1st. Yeah, we're on pause. Okay. Uh, let's see. We do have a ship. A pirate bark. We don't have any crew on board. Uh, we might need that because we're probably going to do a lot of uh, entering and not as much as uh, fighting. But 
let's see what we can do here and what we can pick up. We can trade with uh, the, uh, the towns in our own country. So that's not that much, but let's see what we can pick up. At the moment we are basically neutral with all the others, but as soon as we start uh, attacking that trading convoys, we will get uh, a negative uh, reputation for that. Now these are not ours, but we do own this. This town, if I'm not mistaken. So we should build um, and the environmental sounds can be a little bit lower, I think. Let's see if I can change that. Options, uh, sounds, ambient sounds. Let's put it down to 50%. Yeah, that's better. And the rest will see uh, how that will go. Don't like it, uh, continue. So let's have a quick look. We have a captain. Our captain is close combat fighter. That's good for uh, what we want, close combat fight. He's a smuggler. Okay, eagle eye and leadership. Okay, that's good. So I think we have to... Are we located here? Not sure. We do have uh, 200 grain in storage. We have a lot of coal in storage. And that's about it. Now, transporting these doesn't give us any thing at all, but we can make a lot of money out of it. I think, but we might be better off with... Let's say 50 of these, because first we need to, to get some money before we really can do anything. Uh, also, the grain should be doable. 41 isn't that expensive. So let's pick up another 50 of that and maybe 50 coal. Will that change the price? Not really. Okay, that's... Well, we could maybe go for 50 coca also. So let's head out. Let's see what the other towns need. Uh, they have got cotton. They need wood for their furniture. They don't. They need stone for this. Okay. Uh, what do you need? Oh, they have coca here. They need stone and wool, cotton. You guys need. We already have stone, so there isn't that much, to be honest. Maybe we can trade with... Yeah, you guys need coal, but... You want to besiege the pound with your convoy? No, I don't. I just want to go to that town. Let's see if it's... No, it doesn't. Okay, we can not trade with them. Let's go here and see what's happening. If we can at least sell some stuff. And we have to pick up some crew. Now we do have a little bit of money of course, but the first uh, part is always a little bit difficult. Let's uh, Oh, what's... Uh... Okay, we're here. Uh, we can sell the grain, but not that much. About 10. If we make a decent amount of uh, money, we can pick up some bricks. And always uh, change those back. Let's do that. A little bit of coca, not too much. Also 10. A little bit of this. Maybe about 10 each. Yeah, we can't sell much here. We do have some, uh, some furniture. Let's pick up 10. I don't want to have too much. Because otherwise I might not be able to sell. We have cotton here. Let's pick up 10 also. And let's head out to uh, to the next uh, town here. Let's go to Nassau, see what we can do there. That's the biggest city. Hopefully we can uh, make a little bit of money, hire some people and then start uh, 
attacking some traders. We only have one ship, so we're a little bit small. Let's uh, go a little bit faster. And then pause it. Oh no, come on, get back. It doesn't pause, wait a minute. Is it? Oh, 0.5 game speed. Okay. And it pauses at the moment the uh, thing is open. Okay. Uh, 50, oh, 41. So we don't do nothing, anything with uh, that here. We can sell the bricks for a good price. That's good. Uh, the coal. Yep. Also very nice. The cotton. Okay. Uh, this one is at 124. That's the price we bought it for. So not much... Uh, 180 that's a little bit too much okay we don't get much for the tools let's keep it around 200 so that's and this should be fine yeah okay well we have 22,000 now plus then we can never want to pick up too much of this stuff we can pick up some cloth don't want to have to a uh, little bit of uh well, that's for the meat. No, I don't want to do that. Maybe, do we have... Can I really pause the game? I probably can't. A little bit strange. I thought there was a possibility to pause the game completely, but... I have to check that. Oh, it's the space bar. Okay, good to know. So let's quickly go to our hometown. There we go, press pause. Oh no, we also producing here, so we don't have much value for the grain then. That's uh, tricky. We are producing... No, we're not producing. But we do have a ton of metal. Where do we need the metal? Oh, for here, for this. That's why. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Uh, we can do with some cloth here. That's no problem. We can do with some of this stuff. That's no problem. Yeah, that's uh, basically... Okay, you see the, the price of coal is going up. So can't do anything with that anymore. The tools, we should be able to use them in other cities as well. Captain, okay, we have a new captain can't do anything with him yet don't need another captain so uh, let's keep it at this we have checked it out and at some point they disappear but for now i'd like to have uh, a little bit more money to be honest before we starting oh here we can have sell some grain here up to let's say 45 yeah that should do it uh, we can pick up some wood. We can always use wood. That's not a problem. Let's uh, pick up 40 wood. Uh, they also produce some coal here. Pretty cheap. So let's pick up another 20. Sure. We do have those. Uh, also here 10. Oh, I can uh, sell some of these here. Look at that. Oh, the whole... The whole bunch, that's how I like it. Uh, we do have these, so don't have to buy them. Later on we can automate this trade, but not for now. Uh, we should probably be going to Turk Island and see what we can do over there. Okay, we almost have 30,000 now, plus what we have on board. So we made a little bit of a profit. Uh, look at that. We can sell the wood here, at least partially. Well, uh, not really. They don't pay that much. They have very cheap corn here. Mm, how much room do I have? Well, plenty. But I don't want to buy too much corn. Let's say 20. And the bricks are also very cheap here. So let's pick up uh, 30 bricks. Because we want to buy ourselves a... This is not good. We can get uh, a few people here on board. Why not? Let's do that. Yeah, 
they have plenty of people here so that we can start attacking uh, in the short run. What I'd like to do is in my own uh, place, see if I already can do that. Uh, production, let's zoom in a little bit. I'd like to build uh, a warehouse. Uh, as you can see, I can do anything here because we don't have a warehouse. Warehouse is mandatory, we set in the options. So, a small warehouse. Oh, weight cost us 65,000. Are you kidding me? That's a lot of money. We don't have that. Okay, so we have to do some more trading, I guess. I thought I already could build it. Well, unfortunately not. Let's check if we... Oh, let's go here. I don't have my fleet selected somehow. Why not? There we go. Fleet. Go to there. There we go. Two days. Yeah, we are going pretty quickly. I think it go even, and the more, uh, the farther you zoom out, the quicker it goes. You go on this level, it's it's going much slower than uh, zooming out completely. Uh, yeah, we can do this one. Let's see. We could do with mood here. Yeah, let's go for forty-four. We can sell probably some of the corn or all of it. Yep, average price was that. Bricks, always good. But the, the idea is if we start to uh, robbing other uh, ships of their goods, that we can drop it in a warehouse and then the administrator can slowly sell it onto the market. So we don't uh, overfill the market. Okay, we can go for... Another bunch of coca, but I think I prefer the tools, to be honest. 80 tools. Let's uh, do that. We can sell these. No people to... Uh... Can we do a little bit more? Yeah, let's do that. Let's bring in some nice money. Now, at some point, of course, the treasure fleet will come up and pick up the commodities. And then we can get a decent price for... There's another captain available. A decent price for coca and that kind of stuff. But we need to make some money before we can do anything at all. Now we are having a crew on board. So that might be a little bit problematic. Uh, wood we can sell at least. Yeah, we can sell everything. That's not a problem. The stones can be sold here. The coal can be sold Look at that. Still at 124. They are 600. So the treasure fleet hasn't arrived yet but this is well as long as it stay above 200 i'm okay with that we could pick up a few of those vases and we can go to 120 that's uh, that's good like to go to the bahamas but maybe through here i don't want to go too close to france at the moment now it goes along here Otherwise, if I click it on, it will go along here and then go there. Not what I'm looking for, to be honest. Look at that. We can sell the grain here for a nice uh, price. What else? Uh, some coca. Not much. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, tools. Yeah, they need tools. Up to, let's say that the minimum price we want to have is around 200. Nothing at this point. Uh, we could pick up some. Ooh, we can pick up a lot of uh, that stuff. Yeah. And they made. Yeah, they make it here. So let's go back. Yeah, look. And there we have a merchant. But it's a very powerful merchant. I'm not going to attack him. Two. That's probably two or three ships. I think we can see it if they. Oh, we have a quest here. Wonder what that will be. Can I see it like this? Uh, no, I have to click on the quest itself, I think. Oh, I always forget how that works. Um, that's a merchant here. We could try. 
attack a mission. There we go. Okay, we have one warship and one... Uh, Trading ship. Didn't I mark my ship as a warship? Uh, doesn't matter, we can attack him. So we have to see if we... We should be way stronger, but he is first. So he's going to shoot us. But we have a strength of 140. I think we get another... Uh, no? Okay. What I'm going to do, and basically what's using good, is boarding. That's 100%. So let's do that. And that should be... Okay, naval battle one. Yep, thank you. So now we uh, can plunder the convoy. Okay, and we take the ship. So we take also the goods with us. We have a second ship now, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we have a, a frigate. Okay, very well. That's good. We can sell the frigate for some money. There we go. Uh, that star, it means that there is a... I have to check out how I can uh, uncover this. Oh, here, town's uh, task. The town has launched a program to support prospective traders. We offer 50% discount for the next person who places an order... With our shipyard. Okay, maybe we could do that. I'm not sure how much money is involved. Then. Let's have a quick look at the shipyard. We could uh, repair. We could order a ship. A schooner cost us 22,800 at the moment. The sloop, the brick, the bark, the flute, the corvette and the frigate. Oh, I have to accept it first, and then you get it for half the price. It's a little bit too early. We are not that rich at the moment, so don't think we can do that uh, for now. Let's see. Uh, we had a lot of grain. We have to bring that in somewhere else. We could do with uh, the beer. Sell it, because we had it for free. Uh, the cotton, yeah, sure. There we go. Makes us a nice profit. The cloth we had for something else. The tools. Not that much. But up to 200. And we have 141 people on board. But I don't want it. How much? I have too much. Uh, has that frigate so much uh, storage? I mean 620? You've got to be kidding me. That can't be right. Where is... Um, here, there. No, that's not what I wanted. I want... Yeah. How much? 220 in the frigate. And... Oh, oh, no, no. How much? You have 220... Are you 400? Okay, a frigate has 400 storage. Aha. So that's the whole deal. Well, maybe we should keep it then, but we don't need people on board of it. It's just a storage ship. So we can uh, get some more stuff. So let's see. We need to get rid of some of the, the crew. We only need 120. Otherwise... Oh, we only have 120. Okay, that's good. And, well, let's go... Moving around to... We have 31,000 plus an extra ship. Let's go to Cat Island. See if we can uh, get some stuff over there. I don't think we're going to do this one. That might be a little bit too much for now. But there we go. Set it in pause. Look at that. We can sell some of the grain. Still uh, keeping those minimum prices. Look at that. Let's say 50, 49, that's very decent. And the cloth, yep, okay. And you see, that's why I want to have, uh, well, we don't have 65,000 yet, but we'll get there. 144, more tools. 120 for these. Yeah, that should be okay. We could uh, pick up some 
more of the furniture. Let's say 40. I don't want to overdo it. You guys are producing some cotton. Well, we can always use cotton at 62. That's uh, no big deal. A little bit of uh, stones. Always welcome. Some wood. That's a lot of wood. Maybe a bit too much. Let's go for 150. And that's about it. Let's head back to our own... Oh, what do we have here? Um, piece of a treasure map. Not really interested in, to be honest. There we are. And we can sell at least some of the wood. Not much. We need to uh, start building, but we need more money. Money, money, money. That's what we need. I did have some other stuff here. Yeah, the cotton. Well, let's do it like this. This can go all in. There is a lot of uh, cheap coca. Let's pick up 30. So the average is now 116. So we can cut the losses a little bit. Uh, let's sell 20 of these. Also important that we get enough stuff into our, uh, our town due to uh, prosperity. I'd like to pick up a few more of these. Because they usually sell pretty well. There we go. Let's head back out to this one. To Nassau and see if we can at some point... Find a few more traders to uh, annoy. Uh, not the grain. The wood is filled up for now. Here we go. A little bit more of the cotton. Yeah, it's 124. So if we can get 124, and we can, so then we're good. Up to 200 for these. Uh, there we go. Uh, some couches. Yeah, sure. Up to 400. That will do. So we're getting there. We're almost at 50,000 now. Let's see if we can find some, uh, some trading ships nearby. At some point there will be a war. And yeah, maybe we can uh, get some stuff, but... Oh, there's a British trader. See if we can get him. Or is he too quick? He's from Isabella. I don't think we can catch him. No, we're not getting closer by, to be honest. That's a little bit of a shame. The best thing is to... Uh... Oh, no, that's... Uh, we can't attack. There's one going. But he's also just a little bit too quick for us. But we might catch him here. There he is. Now we can attack him because he's uh, sailing towards us. There we go. Now he's pretty strong. Uh, not He's one ship, so we can get another ship. Let's uh, go for manual. Let's see what... Uh, we have two ships to attack, but we basically... Yeah, this one is empty. But here's uh, strength of 103. What kind of ship is this? A military con. Corvette. Okay, those are pretty strong. Yeah, this is... But if we can take him... That would be... Not, not enough sailors, yeah, I know. But that's not the one I want you to go with. We could go for... A... Well, let's first repair our ship. Let's do that. Then we go for a sublime attack because we are at 75%. If we do this one, now we are at 100. And so we're getting basically one of the best ships for this. Uh, it's a military convoy and it's really good. It's one of my favorite ships to use uh, we got another 166 uh, materials. 
and of course uh, the ship and like i said it's a military corvette that's really a good ship uh, we have a captain that has not sure how many points four okay we need one two three command points at the moment so we could do with another ship but i don't think it's really necessary at some point i'd like to get rid of those ships this is going to be our main ship now i think we could simply do this and maybe a repair let's see uh, what we can do with the stuff we got we have some uh, uh, basically i can no, i'm not gonna overfeed the market let's go for 44 yeah but we still uh, if we sell the ships we might be able to to get uh, not here yeah, it's a disadvantage the ship came from this town so it bought the access goods so there isn't much what we can drop here but we're okay let's uh, bring no i think we need how many people are going on this ship uh military convoy not 100 percent sure 180 okay so we need a few more people to uh but let's see if we can repair the ship it's a 12,000. wow that's uh hmm it's two days okay let's do it let's repair and then let's sell the two ships that we have and keep going with this one so let's uh, zoom out completely we see here there we go uh, repair completely completely completed and now we should be able to get this one out and this one out convoy is overloaded okay well let's keep the pirate bark for now then and at least sell this one that gives us 112,000. So that's uh, basically a very good deal. And now we can, of course, build the warehouse. We do have enough money for that. Let's put it down here. Give us sugar. Yeah, easy, pal. Easy. We're not there yet. We can make some production here for our own later. But since this is our town, uh, not sure how long it will take. They probably need some. Uh, oh, there's the prosperity here. Current risk of plague. Yeah, we need to keep an eye on that. But we are one month in. Let's uh, go and see if we can sell some. There we go. Some more. 30. Yeah, that was to be expected. We don't have uh, any of these. Uh, this is still at 32 nothing in this region no uh this maybe yep we can sell it well let's sell it for the same price uh, that's about it for now we do have no we don't have any more people to uh take care of let's go to cat island see if we can still uh, trade a little bit because I do want to get rid of the pirate uh, bark also. At some point. And we can sell at least a, a decent amount of this. The coal can be sold here. A little bit of uh, coca. Not much. This is going very nicely. Look at that. Up to 200. Yeah, this is good. Uh, we can buy this cheap, so why not? Let's buy it uh, 20. We can uh, get a few more people up to 180. Only need one ship. Uh, uh, we have a lot of cotton here, and we know that cotton is wanted in. Uh, I can do with a little bit of these also so let's uh, bring the cotton to Nassau because they want it keep an eye out for potential 
leads that we can attack, but there's nothing here, unfortunately. Bring this down a little bit. Uh, we are at 41, okay. 20, yeah, this, we can sell those, that's good. Look at that, this stays at uh, 100 now, so that's a lot of money that we make, look at that. We are getting there. Uh, 200, I want to have at least. For these, uh, the couches, well, only three, that's about it. Yeah, let's head back to our own town. Who knows, maybe we see another fleet that we can attack, but basically there is a fleet. Merchant from the Florida Keys, and you can see in the bottom, Corvettes 2, Sloops 2, so he has two Corvettes. We are not strong enough yet to do that. So I'm going to keep it for now at traders with only one ship. Otherwise, uh, yeah, we might run into trouble. And not something we want. Uh, let's do this. And nothing here. We could pick up a little bit more coca. It's very cheap. There we go. Buying it under the, the regular price, so to speak of. And that's about it, I think. We could... No, no we don't need more grain. So uh, and I'm going to leave it at this. We're... Uh, over 40 minutes in. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you already haven't done so. Especially since this is the first uh, one in the series. It's always important to uh, let the YouTube algorithm know uh, of it. So it can uh, show it to more people who may be interested in this uh, type of games. Thank you all for watching. And hopefully until the next episode. Bye for now.